Okay, I've got Michael Kasperwitz alongside me. Kasper and I are going to have a chat about the two quick, the left arm quicks. Kasper, let's get into this straight away. I know you like these guys. I love it. I love watching fast bowling. Certainly young fast bowlers. So exciting with Shaheen. Um, obviously, last year was so spectacular, the number of wickets. Stark, highly experienced as well. And after Karachi, what he did in that first innings was just fabulous to watch. Okay, so there's an example of the two guys. We're going to have a look at some what I call some shadow bowling now and we put them on top of each other so we can look at their techniques. Right, Casper, okay, so well, let's get into this. The setup is really cool and similar. Both of them about 198 centimetres tall. So have a look at the, the front arm here. Mitchell Stark very vertical with that front arm, whereas Shaheen Afridi is across his body. Um, interesting to see that, and I think we'll see down the track where that might have have its influence. And what sort of benefit is that? I mean, by the way, the lock-up of, the, of the, 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 the ball there and the rest is good. What sort of benefit is that of the, of the front arm up high? A bit of efficiency. You'll find a bit more pace when everything's travelling in the one line, certainly straight towards the wicket. OK, let's keep going and have a look at uh, another section here. I'm just going to uh, freeze this also as they get to the point of release. And I'm loving Shaheen Afridi's wrist, the real the flick that he gives it at the last bit. The lock-up's fantastic. Interesting also with that bowling arm where it locks up in around the hip area. Mitchell Stark very tight there, and I think that's the counter. Um, for the arm going across uh, in, in his body. What about here? Does this worry you? Not at all. I think that's natural variation. And one thing that Mitchell Stark, I'm sure, worked hard to get close to the wicket, certainly is helping him with that ball going across the right-hand batsman. OK, we're just going to finish now with the, uh, in, uh, the final follow-through and uh, both of these. Look, excellent. I think follow-throughs are fantastic. And the similarities are extraordinary. As I mentioned, they're both 197, 198 centimetres tall. We've just got a better age difference for about uh, 10 years. Average in-swing with a new ball, this is key. Yeah, it, it is. I think you'll find that there is that little bit more swing for Shaheen. I think the reason being is quite interesting, I think because his length was fuller. OK, let's just keep going and uh, have a look at the remaining parts of this. We've got three things to look at. The average length, Shaheen a little bit fuller, Stark a little bit further down. Shaheen, of course, bowled more fuller deliveries as well as he went on in that uh, with the new ball in particular. But this is going to be interesting. We get to the speeds too, Casper. Yeah, I think that comes back to that sort of the, the setup. And Mitchell Stark, as I pointed out, very straight up over the top. The whole body's going straight down, 141k an hour. Um, there is a difference there. We do know that Shaheen does achieve that uh, in white ball cricket, but um, in test cricket, uh, we've actually, we see that that's the benefit of the fast bowler. OK, I'll be interested to see if uh, Shaheen bowls a little bit quicker in this test match, because that's something he's been working on. Casper, thanks very much. Thank you. OK, back to you guys.